Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted a video that Microsoft had announced changes in Windows to comply with the Digital Markets Act in the EEA, where if you do find yourself in the European economic area, you will soon be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge and Bing Search on Windows 11. And basically this means you have more control over your uh, computing experience. And I'll leave that video down below because as many of you may know, um, in Windows 10 and also Windows 11, if you want to, as an example, uninstall Edge, there is no uninstall option available. So Edge is a default, basically a default system component. You can't uninstall it, but that's all set to change uh, soon in the EEA. But go check that video out if you'd like to play catch up. Now, just to let you know, and a bit of an interesting fact that this ability to be able to uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge and Bing Search is all controlled by one single file in Windows 10 and Windows 11 and it's a JSON file that you can actually open and edit with a text editor like Notepad. So if you are interested to go check out this uh, file, which by the way is called Integrated Services Region Policy Set.json, then we head to our C drive or the drive that your um, operating system is installed on. And if you go through this process, if you see any user account control warnings, just okay your way through the uh, um, the UAC warnings. You head to your Windows folder, and you'll be looking for System32. So you double click on System32, and there's over 4,000 uh, files and folders uh, in System32, so there's quite a lot to get through. So we are looking for integrated services region policy set. So I'm just going to kind of go down here as quick as I can and try and find this file, because there's a lot going on. Here we go. So let's have a look at uh, um, integrated. There we go. Here's the, the file. Integrated services region policy set dot JSON. So um, you can either double click and open with Notepad or you can right click and you can right click on that file and you can open with Notepad. So you have those two options. And here you get all the information that this single file includes and each entry includes a default state uh, which is either enabled or disabled and you can also see the regions where this is enabled or disabled so yeah you can see at the top it says edge currently in my region is uninstallable and then you've got the region and then you've got all the different regions that are found in this uh, basic uh, plain text file then yeah, we get web search. Users, user can disable web search. And once again, you've got the region and all the different regions that it applies to. And it controls a lot of other components uh, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Too many to get into in this video. But yeah, you can see if you scroll down, there's quite a lot going on. And I just mentioned in the first two because that pertained to the video I did post on regarding the EEA um, last week. So um Basically a fun fact and a bit of an interesting fact that this is the file that controls being able to enable or disable a lot of the components in Windows 10 and Windows 11, including Microsoft Edge and uh, the Bing Web Search. So just bringing that to your attention. And just to think that this whole file is 16 kilobytes in size. So that little file is controlling a lot uh, in the Windows operating system. And... Uh, um, if you are in the EEA, as mentioned um, soon, uh, you will be able to um, officially uninstall Microsoft Edge and Bing Search on Windows 11. And as mentioned, that video will be down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.